Hey, Mathate. So this Khan Academy, using Pythagorean Theorem to find isosceles triangle side lengths. Um, not horribly difficult, just using some processes. So um, the first thing is we need to find the value of x right here. You'll notice that from here to here to here to here makes a perfect right triangle. In a perfect right triangle, and to find this long side over here, you can use the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the Pythagorean theorem. In order to do that, though, we need to know the length of this short side. Well, if we know that this full length is 6, and we know that this is halfway down because it's an isosceles triangle, then we know that the short length here is 3, at which point we simply take the 3 and we square it. 3 squared plus 4 squared will equal our x squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25. So 25 equals x squared. So then we take the square root of both sides, and we get 5 equals x. So it's letter A. Okay, let's do another example. All right, on this one, notice that they've already given us the long value here of square root of 52. So we don't use, like we did before, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, because you only do that when you want to find the long side. If you're trying to find the short side, and we did this before in our last one, you do b squared equals c squared minus a squared. So we're going to take this, and we're going to subtract out this short side right here. Okay? So on this one, we simply take your x squared will equal your square root of 52 squared minus 4 squared. And remember, if you don't know where I got 4 squared from, it's half of this distance right here. If the whole distance was 8, half of it's 4. Now, here's kind of a fun little detail. If you have the square root and a squared, squared and square roots will cancel each other. It's kind of like positives and negatives cancel each other. Multiplication and division cancel each other. Squares and square roots cancel each other. So as those two cancel each other, we're left with the number 52. 4 squared is 16, and 52 minus 16 is 36. So x squared equals 36. Take the square root of both sides, and we get x equals 6. Just like that. Our last example, all right, down here. Again, we're given the long side, so we're going to be using the b squared here, method right here. And we want to find the length of x. Now, notice that we are going to find the length of x, which is the full length. In order to solve this using Pythagorean theorem, we're going to find this value here. But that's only half of the value of x. So I'm actually going to, as I set this up, I'm going to leave this as b squared, not x squared, but rather I'm going to keep it as a b squared right now. I'll fill in my c squared side of square root of 13 squared, and then my a squared side of 2 squared. Um, square root and squares cancel each other again, so it's just 13 left over. 2 squared is 4. 13 minus 4 is 9, so b squared equals 9, which means b equals 3. Remember, that's only the distance from right here to right there. We need the distance from here to here, which is double that. So what is double 3? x would equal 6. So that is our answer right there. That's how you do it. Good luck. Bye-bye.